What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the happy hour. Uh, today, we're going to be closing up our Cal Time series with uh, Cal Time Draft boost, Booster Pack. Got it right here, ready to go. 10 draft boosters to look through, 10 draft boosters with possible giveaways for everybody watching the video. Uh, so, for those of you who have been watching the videos, you understand the uh, how, the, how the giveaway works. I'm going to be putting, probably be putting the cards down in the comments section based off the video and what cards have already been given out. So if anybody has any questions about that, you can uh, check and see what cards have been given away already and see what cards are remaining for uh, you to request. So uh, if, you're, if you're new to the channel, checking out for the first time, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and then you can choose from any of the cards that you see in any of my unboxing videos. Uh, granted that they haven't all been snagged up yet. So I'll, I'll include those details in the uh, in the video description for for this video so everybody has some uh better ideas about this but we got 10 packs of cal time to go through we'll open up the box see all the nice things inside of it and uh should should be a good time so let's get uh, right into it so there's a box right here looking good let's check out the back see what we get with this we'll get alternative art oil reflections of the jar card 10 draft boosters or 20 foil and basic basic lands Card box and oversized spin now life counter plus two reference cards. Uh, so much like the boxes we've been opening already. Uh, now we're just doing it for the Cal time, which is you know much more recent. And you know that's probably. Let me get. So the Calhoun video went pretty well. I'm, I'm assuming it's because that's the one I, I open up the most boosters for. The other ones have just been, you know, uh, ten shots for for drafts, the set boosters. You know, you get you, you got a better chance of getting something good out of those. Struggle to get this box open, so uh, I'm going to be trying to get more set boosters in the future. Even though most of the time they're harder to come by and they're more expensive, but you know what? Get a better chance of something better, you know, a better chance to get something good out of it, whether it be foils, rares, and mythic rares, the things that are going to make your decks look really nice, uh, as well as mine. So, uh, volume here a little bit, right down. Okay, great. All right, so here's our Cal Time pack. Get the little extra box out of the way. See what the artwork is like inside. It is awesome. Let me try to angle it this way. So. Look at that. It's got the super awesome Cal Time metal font that is included on our card sleeves uh, that I, you know, every single card uh, that I give away will be included in these awesome Cal Time card sleeves that I found. Pretty awesome stuff. Oh, no, oh, that's, oh, that's the, that's the uh, lithograph type thing that comes in. What's on the other side? Okay, just, uh little reference cartoon i like it i like it I like what's going on there i love i love that they that's like official magic artwork though and then on the inside it just looks so cool i wish it wasn't like glued down on the bottom so uh you can you know flip you know flip it inside out for like an alternate uh sleeve for your box uh but i don't know maybe i'll figure something out we'll leave it as is for now knife out of the way all right, so here's the box. I like the way it look, looks right now. Uh, you know, the gift, the gift box was nicer because it had, you know, had the, hol the holographics on it. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And, you know, still, it's still nice. It's still nice. Now, here's a really nice thing. I love this counter. Oh, oh look, look, okay. The Kaldheim symbol right there. Look at all the little details in this gold and this chromatic blue bluish purple looking thing i mean this is this is so cool i love this like even if you didn't know what this was you would just think it's one of the coolest things looking at it i love how they designed that kicks the crap out of the uh the zendikar rising one like oh it was so ugly for what it was i couldn't i couldn't believe it those all right here's our here's our lands packs 
open it up, get those out of the way. So I've been getting some uh, messages back from people who have uh, participated in giveaways, things all the way, you know, all over the place. Uh, getting it, getting all over, all over the world. Great Britain got theirs. Singapore got theirs. My my brother's from Argentina. I'm I'm I'm, ho I'm hoping it gets to you soon. You know, um, Open's not getting uh, caught up in anything. You know, I don't know. I just I just hope it's not getting caught caught up and and delayed for you. Sorry, it's shaking the camera. That no, don't do that. Do that. He's first time making a video, Mike. All right, let's see what we got in here. This should be our special card and foil lands. So here's Reflections of Litjara. Reflection of Litjara has entered the battlefield. Choose a creature type. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type, copy that spell. I, I didn't even know this card existed. I don't think I, I ever got it in Arena. This is really awesome. What what an awesome card to have. And boom, here are all of our holographic lands. Everyone's favorite. Everyone's got to have the holographic land. Showing the bling at your magic tournaments and gather, uh, gatherings that you have. This guy in the sleeve, keep, keep it nice, keep it nice. I wish instead of just your basic lands, though, that they... Did the snow lands just because it's specific to cow time but you know how they make the packs is how they make their packs all right so it should be a one two to the front Oops. i break the golden rule already that's all right we'll just start out with our com comments and uh here we go right off the bat rhyme wood falls get a get a green or a blue out of this great that into the land here uh, any token on that? Nope. Garbage. All right. Gold Maw Champion Dwarf Warrior. Boosted Tap. Mists of Lajara. Agi Mob. Master Scald. This battlefield, you may exile a creature card. From your graveyard. If you do, return target artifact or enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. King Harald's Revenge. Red Rider. Ice Hide Troll. Creature Troll Warrior. I think this is where the Snowlands help you out. They should include them. Iron Verdict. He's. Yep, he's screwed. Deals five damage to target tap creature. Nice. We get revenge on uh creature that just attacked you. Ink Fortel. Dog of Pursuit. Alright, we've seen a couple of those from our first Cal Time unboxing. Run ashore, yeah, this one too. Here we go. Ruined Crown, artifact equipment. Rune of Mortality. Draw a card as long as the chin to permanent is a creature has death touch. And a permanent is an equipment has a creep creature has death touch. Rootless you. Free folk. Hanging out in uh Bangor Forest over here. When it dies, search your library for creature card power of toughness six or greater. Reveal it, putting it to your hand off your library. Alright. Yeah, uh, get the powerful cards fast. And here we go. Rare mythic rare. Ascendant spirit. Oh, this thing is just just keeps going. So first of all, you need you need snowlands for this guy. Right off the bat, Ascendant Spirit becomes a spirit warrior with base power and toughness two three. So go from your one one to your two three. Next for three, if Ascendant Spirit is a warrior, put a flying counter on it, becomes a spirit warrior angel with base power and toughness four four. And then for another four snowlands, Ascendant Spirit is an angel. Put two plus one plus one counters on it, and it gains whenever this creature deals down, combat damage to a player. Draw a card. This card stacks. Real nice, as long as you can keep slapping lands down. Pretty good card for uh, warrior decks, angel decks, for all for all blue decks out there. So, pretty decent pulls out of that one. All right, let's get back. I gotta say, I, I think so far Caldheim has been my favorite of the the packs that I've seen so far. Uh, 
but we uh with the release of Strixhaven coming very soon uh, we got you know a lot more to uh to look at and look forward to uh if if oh whoa 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 did, did i mess up i messed up didn't i i'm oh no they didn't they didn't have the land there okay so all right here's our holographic at least it's just the basic so invoke the divine destroy target artifact or enchantment gain for life nice card nice card i i use it all the time in arena uh so all right well i gotta be careful of that that's the risk i run we're bringing two to the front if there's not a not a land attached to it so i'm going to stop doing that all right uh zombie berserker token all right cool leave that off the side all right gold mall champion uh, again again stainful stroke how to target spell with converter mana cost four or greater breakneck berserker let's get those dwarf decks going Haste. not vulver clues giant spiders Eat them. Horizon Seeker. Search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Rachnoform. Chant creature. Chant creature is plus two, plus two. Reach as every creature type. Gold vein pick. We see a lot. Demon Bolt. Four damage to target creature or planeswalker. Foretell as well. And verdict again. Frostpyre Arcanus. It'll cost one less to cast if you can buy it or a wizard. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for an sorcery card with the same name. Card in Grayfell. Reveal it. Put it in your hand in the shelf of your library. Battleshield Warrior. Get out of here. Yeah. Also, as a boast, creature control, get plus one, plus one until the end of the turn. Nice. Immersturm Skookern. I think I made that joke last time too. Land and our oh, here's our rare Redain God of the Worthy. Okay, so things are a little weird in these decks. All right, uh, yeah, because we have our land in the back. Yeah, Ice Tunnel, Ice Tunnel, Get off to the side, black or blue. So Redain God of the Worthy. I think we got one of these in, in our in our last unboxing as well. Flying Vigilance, still answer your punch control, enter the battlefield tap. Really good way to screw with uh, those Kaldheim decks and non creature spells your opponents cast with it costs four greater co cast cost to cast. And on the back, Valk Mira Protector Shield. Very nice. I love the flip cards. They're really, they're really awesome. Although, for those of you that you know that play that play properly, I'll say, um, how does it work when you know you have, you know, you got you know you got a front and back card. Obviously, you got card sleeves on them. So when playing against somebody else. They can't see what you have. But when you're ready to play it, if you got to play the other side, you just take it out of sleeve and flip it in. And I, I mean, that's what I'm guessing you have to do. Uh, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know because I'm curious how you play that in, in real life. You know, once uh, people start getting together again and playing real life, maybe I might do it one day too. And just so I don't, you know, mess up the etiquette, probably just Google it. But it's, it's nicer talking to you. All right. Uh, Human Warrior Token, 1 1. Fearless pup. Ooh, look at that little guy. First strike and a boost. Story Seeker. Undersea Invader. Way down there. Here's tapped. Pretty rough. All right, with clues again. Draugr Recruiter. Gotta get all them zombies. Turn target creature from your graveyard to your hand. That makes sense. That makes sense. Revitalize. Get your life. Get your card. Raiders carve. Here we go. There's a little Viking vehicle right there. I figured out how vehicles work. I saw somebody use them, and now, now I understand the vehicle, uh, the vehicle meta. So nobody answered me when I asked, but I figured it out. <laughs> All right, when it attacks, look at the top card of your library. If you, it's a land card, you may put it into battlefield tap. Sweet. Squash. Popping it like a pimple. We also cast if you control a giant. Oh, that makes sense. About card art. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that when they do that. Grizzled Outrider. He's going to ride a bear. Find the monster. And creature. When it enters battlefield, tap into creature. Deals damage to you. Power. Hmm. Doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Blood Sky Berserker. That's a rerun as well. Oh, here we go. Some good alt art. 
Foray of the Frost. Very cool. Angeling may have more of the Frost enter the battlefield as a copy of a permanent you control, except it's legendary in snow in addition. A creature it enters with two additional plus one plus one cap on it and has Whoa. A lot of things happening here. With, you know, for a blue and green deck, I mean, throwing this in with Coma, forget about it. You know, you're going to win pretty easily. Pretty easily. Yeah. Great Hall of Starnheim. Sweet. It's your black, and then you can create a 4 4 uh, white angel with vigilance. Pretty awesome. And right there. Hey, Toski. Nice card. Awesome. Very cool. Can't be countered. Indestructible. Attacks each combat if naval. And when you control, uh, creature control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So a great way to get, you know, rack up cards in your hand. And let's see, did we get a holographic out of this? Woo! No, just dice out of land. Cool. Sweet. Not the best ho hollows yet, but getting some pretty, pretty good rares out of this. You know, Toski uh, is just, you know, since these are all based off of uh, Norse, thing, I, I don't know, I'm just going to leave it at the back. Since these are all based off of Norse myth mythology, Toski is just uh, based off of uh, Ratatoskr, who's the squirrel that climbs up and down the life tree. He just, he just talks smack to everybody. Oh, we got Craven Hulk. Can't block alone. Okay, so that's like the opposite of him. Uh, yeah, he would just crawl through the world tree and start you know uh talking smack to the giants and then to the gods and then all the people just saying everyone's talking smack to one another being a little uh being a little troll he is one of my uh, guy just a little squirrel that's causing so much trouble go my champion again this is lajara almost faithful mammoth growth Darnheim Corsair. Mashing success. Mashing. Infernal pet. Nee, 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 nee. Mist Walker. Gimmer Drift Veil. Snow Land. Tapped. Choose mana of any. Not bold. Slumber Mound. Add a fire or, or three red and two green sacrifice non full slumber mound destroy target land. Create four four green troll warrior creature token with trample. Long game right there. Turgrid Shadow. Ooh. Girl right there. She is what she doing. Each player sacrifices two creatures. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Frost Augur. And a rare Egon, God of Death. Death touch me. You'll keep exile two cards from your graveyard. If you can't sacrifice Egon and draw a card. On the back, we have the Throne of Death. And you'll keep mill card. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Draw a card. Cool. I think we got this last time too. So uh, nothing really new there. Oh, look at that. Oh, it was a blank card. That's why. That's why it's like that. Okay, draw that there. And we'll land Chasm. There's our land. Sweet. Getting, getting some doubles, nothing wrong with that. Build some good, you know. Need the doubles to build some stand to build your standard decks. Got to, got to have, got to have what you got to have. All right. Even warrior token, cool, cool. Under sea evader again. Seize the spoils. Start a card. Draw two cards. Create a treasure token. Battlefield Raptor, <laughs> this guy. I hope he's in Top Gun. <laughs> the Berg Strider. Broken Wings, uh, annoying card. I hate this card because I have a white angel deck and this one really ruins my day. Dread Rider. Avil Recluse. Run Ashore. Vault Robber, taking your stuff. Iron Verdict, Basalt Ravager, Giant Wizard, 
Burja, Judge of Valor. I, I didn't realize it was only an uncommon. Angel Cleric, Flying, Lifeling. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, look at the top three cards of the library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest into your graveyard. Artwork on this. I love this artwork. is just super sick. That's why I thought it was rare, because the artwork is just crazy good on this. Usually how they make it. Draugr's Helm. And what do we got? Ooh, the Maskwood Nexus. Cre creatures control are every creature type. Same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. Created two two blue shapeshifter to token with Angeling. Also every creature type. Gotta get a world tree now. Then we got a combo. How sick would that be? Uh, but no, we're just gonna mount it in. Thanks. <laughs> I think I talked about it in the first video that world that world tree combo. Uh, you pair that up. I, that was the card. Card I was like, oh no, did I get the world tree last time? I don't remember now. I don't remember that. Maybe I did. I was just talking about it because I got the world tree. Now I have the max win ne nexus, so I can run that combo. Hey, there we go. Oh, short uh, foretell. Yeah, I know how to foretell. That's fine. We can get rid of that. All right, Battlefield Raptor again. Going to the danger zone. Berk Strider. All right, we got the same pack. Craven Hulk. Old Maw Champion. Guardian Glade Walker. Angel. Full Raid on this guy. I remember him. Man, he's so. It reminds me of. What's that movie? What's that horror movie? Uh. I always do that. I think of something and I just can't remember, remember the name. Insidious, that's what it is. That, that reminds me of the guy from Insidious. Iron Verdict. Dogged Pursuit. Wolverine Pick. Boreal Outrider. Whenever you cast a creature spell, if snow of any of that spell's colors was spent to cast it, that creature enters the battlefield with additional plus one, plus one counter. Ah, oh, nice. Invasion of the Giants, we've seen this one before. Colossal Plow. Dream Devour. Each not land card in your hand without foretell has foretell. It's plus two uh, whenever you foretell a card. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, oh, Alpine Meadow. Cool. We've got another one. Ooh, ooh. Oh, nice. King Harold's Revenge Holographic. Looking pretty good. Pretty good. I like the artwork on that one. Flip it in there. Again, yeah, just to remind you that uh, it's not, I'm just putting the hollows in here just to you know keep them safe, keep keep them nice, just because I don't have enough for all for all the cards. But whatever card you decide you want, it comes in the cow time sleeve. Whatever one you want. There we go. Only a couple more left. All right, giant wizard token. Part the realm. Just get out of there. Get out of the realm. Turn target not land permanent to its owner's hand. Timber Sturm Raider. Valor of the Worthy. All right, we're getting some new stuff here. And creature gets plus one, plus one. These battlefield create one, one white spirit creature with flying. Red Rider. Not Vilver Clues. A Null. Count to target artifact or enchantment spell. Struggle for skim far. Funeral longboat. Ravenous lindworm. Oh, those poor, those poor deer. Behold the multiverse. Try two, then draw two. Bella ice shape. I don't think we got this last time. Create a colorless snow artifact token named Icy Tap, add one mana of any color. And look at the top four cards of your library. Maybe cast a spell from among them without paying its mana cost. Press on the bottom. Pretty cool. 2 4, good defense. Good defense. That guy. Frenzied Raider. We got oh, Vengeful Reaper. Okay, we got one, more for, got one more for the rare. Pretty good card, too. Even. even Little, little pricey on the four drop there, but with the foretell, it might, might be able to help you out. And it has uh, flying, death touch, and 
A lot of good stuff. Oh, nice. Doom Scar. Destroy all creatures. Plus a foretell. Gets you out of jam. Pretty good. Pretty good getting you out of the jams. Arctic Tree Line. Isn't that beautiful? I would like to go to there. Very sweet. Uh, Doom Scar is awesome. All right, Elf Warrior token. Warhorn Blast. Mists of Lajara. Agi Mob. Mastered Stalled. Masked Vandal. Priest of the Haunted Edge. Gaspira Sentinel. Has made the elves from The Witcher. Frostbite. Oh no! Two damage. Run ashore. Elderleaf Mentor. Finding the Old Gods. Ooh, Ascent of the Worthy. I don't think we got this last time. First of all, check out that sick artwork. Oh, I love it. I think it was carved into the card. Choose a creature you control until your next turn. All damage that would build, be dealt to creatures you control is dealt to that creature instead. That gets twice out of there. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with the flying on it. That creature is an angel warrior in addition to its other. Pretty cool. Icebind pillar. What do we got? Ooh! Mythic rare planeswalker. Nico Aris, when Nico Aris enters the battlefield, create X shard tokens. Up to one target creature control can't be blocked this turn. Do this turn. Turn into its owner's hand. Deals two damage to the target tapped creature for each card you've drawn this turn and create a shard token. Very cool. Very cool. And woodland. Chasm is our land. Nice. Getting those planeswalkers. Any more mythic rares? That's what I need. Give me the good cards. I know it's better with the set boosters. <laughs> I'm realizing that now. These are just these are just cheaper, easier to come by. That's what I really want. There's a blank card. <laughs> Wings of the castle. This has to be the funniest card ever made. This guy is just like this is supposed to be happening. What what's happening? <laughs> it's so so funny. All right, Dragger Thought Thief. Gary Firewalker. X Guard Braggart. Death Nell Berserker. Broken Wings. Vault Robber. Iron Verdict. Dogged Pursuit. Bullvane Pick. Rune Crown, all right, getting a lot, a lot of the same stuff. Rune Mortality, like, there's not, is there nothing else? There's plenty of other Cal Time cards, come on, come on. Rootless U, let's see what we get, what's the rare? Koski again. And there we go, and Snowfield, Sand Call, all right, well, that was just a bunch of reruns. All right, big energy, last pack. The Caltime draft booster set, booster box that we, we have here. Big energy, big energy. Okay, at least one mythic rare. All right, troll warrior. Undersea invader. He's the spoils. Aspira sentinel. Village rights. Grizzled outrider. Revitalize. Barfell Kennel Master. Get those dogs going. Thorn Effigy. Find the Monster. Roots of Wisdom. 
Build three cards and return a land card or elf card from your graveyard to your hand. And draw a card. Batter Shield Warrior. Hammer Stern Skull Cairn. Woo! Eco Defies Destiny. What's this saga card? In two life for each foretold card you own in exile. Add a white and a blue. Spend this mana only to foretell cards or cast spells that have foretell. Return target card with foretell from your graveyard to your hand. All right. All you foretell people out there. All right. Let's see what we got on the reveal. Yorn, God of Winter. Alt art. Very nice. God card. Whenever you want to tax, untap each snow permanent you control. Very sweet. And on the back, Aldring Rhyme Staff. Legendary snow artifact. Sweet artwork. You may play target snow permanent card from your graveyard this turn. If you do, it enters the battlefield tapped. And Glacial Floodplain is our land. Very nice last card we got there. Just so cool how they use how they're related. Like he's using that's him there using uh the the rhyme staff and or this could just be the rhyme staff starting out over this. I mean that's just so cool how or you know, I'm sure they've been doing it for a long time. But it's just awesome how they do that. That's awesome. All right, so, so that's our uh, Cal time set here and our unboxing for today. Hope you had a good time. And uh, I think that's all we have. Uh, or is it? Big surprise. Not done yet. What do we have ready for you today? We have Strix Haven pre-release pack. I got the Silver Quill box. Very excited to be opening it uh, on the stream. Figure surprise you guys at the end. Uh, so uh, I'm a sucker for uh, black and white decks. And, uh, you know, I had to get this guy because, you know, just, just look at that. Look at this guy. He it looks like he should be straight out of an anime. Like if Harry Potter was an anime, he would be in it. Write that down. Harry Potter. Make everything into an anime. <laughs> Netflix has just been killing it with their anime line recently, especially all the video game IPs they're doing. Uh, I just saw that they're going to have the final season of uh, Castlevania, but there's going to be spinoffs, they said, but I wish they were, they kept going with that line. There's so many uh, open storylines out there that you know, I, I want to know how they end. They, they, they've been, I, I feel like they've been doing such a good job with the, uh, the Castlevania, Castlevania anime, but, and then Dota just came out, uh, as well. And, uh, there's another good one. That'd be something. Dragon's Dogma. That one looked good. I haven't watched it yet, but I, I've been meaning to. So yeah, let's, let's get, let's get some more stuff in, uh, cartoon form. We don't have to worry about actors aging out and stuff you know like like uh game of thrones maybe you know should have been an animated series from the get-go oh yeah there we go look at that got our we got our counter like it i like it a little speckled got got the uh i forgot the name of it already silver quill silver quill school silver quill school symbol on there Just racking up 20 counters right now Outer packs. Is there something else on the side over here? Or is this just like keep the box stable? I don't want to be missing out on anything. Hold on. I think it's just yeah, it's just uh, <laughs> just box filler. It's just make a smaller box. That's all you need to do. Just make a smaller box. It'll be a little deck box though. Oh, this. oh sorry, I gotta scratch my nose. All right, so let's see what we get. In our pre-release pack, start at the top here. Ooh, ooh. Silver Quill, College of Eloquence. Well, we're obviously going to reveal whatever card is right here. And it is the Flame Scroll Celebrant. Something on the back, too. Creature, Human, Shaman. Whatever an opponent activates an ability that isn't a mana ability, Flame Scroll Celebrant deals one damage to that player. And for one and a, and a red, Flame Scroll Celebrant gain, gets plus two end of turn and on the back now oh, there's something on the back 
It was just a card blocking it. <laughs> there. Oh, nice. It's even got a little 2021 20, stamp on there. Oh, this is such a cool card. Same thing on the other side. Revel in silence. Your opponents can't cast spells or activate Planeswalker's loyalty abilities this turn. Exile, Revel in silence. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is such a cool card. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are going to want this. You know what? I'll leave, I'll leave. I'll, I'll leave it, I'll leave it out there. I'll leave it out there. Somebody really, really, really wants it. I will get it to you. But I really like it. I really like it. And I think, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. That's all I'm going to say. Right, I'm going to start. I'm going to try to make a new uh, Strixhaven pile, not to. In the box. Put it in the box. What's in the box? Box. Got them all. Okay, cool. Um, sweet. What's this? So cool. College of Eloquence. Oh, I was gonna be a little brochure. Oh, or, oh. Yeah. Oh, it's just a little, little neat little little picture of everybody at the school. Oh, you probably get if you get the other pre-release packs, you can put it all together. Make something nice. There we go. There we go. Little uh, little cardboard slip right there. All right, what do we got? We got we got five packs here. Draft boosters, and then let's see what's in this one first. Clear pack. I'm not sure if this is like um, what comes in every pre-release one. Uh, it might be. All right, so we got Silver Quill, Pledge Mage, Vampire Cleric. Silver Quill, Campus, yeah, it's probably all theme together in these, in these packs. Inkling Summoning, look at that little guy. A 2-1 white and black Inkling creature token. Owl and Shield Mage. Look at this crazy guy. Bird Warlock. Go with the Goose Knight from, <laughs> what was that? Uh, 2021. Flying Ward. Pay three life. Whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability, and opponent controls counter it unless that player pays three life. I've seen this. I was opening up some packs in uh, an arena, and this I like I like this Ward ability. It's pretty cool. I want to see like how it stacks and play, plays in decks. Angel's Guardian, Spirit Soldier. Flash of Malice. Our creature gets plus two, minus two until. Introduction to Prophecy. Blessing card, Scry two, then draw a card. Exhilarating Locution. Biblioplexus. Look at that guy. Looks like a troublemaker. Artifact creature, Gargoyle. Enters battlefield pub to one target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on top of the library. Umbral Juke. Yeah, yeah I forgot there's like a little sport that they is it just like rugby? Is that what they do? Or right, choose one target player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker, create a two one white and black inkling creature Pokemon flying. Gadewing Laureate. I love the art. Love it. Whenever another creature control with dying fly. Flying dies, dying dies. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Professor of Symbology. What are you looking for is symbolism. Symbolism. Put a comment if you know what movie that's from. When it enters battlefield, learn. Everybody should learn. Learn something new. I'm trying to learn Magic the Gathering. And our rare academic probation. Be like a giant person or I think it's just aspect. Choose one. Choose a non-land card name. Opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name until your next choose target non-land permanent until your next turn and can't attack or block and it's activated. Decisions decisions there. 
There's our spirit token. Pest token. And whatever you want. Whatever you want token. All right. Get this set up, organized. I have an, did I have a land in here? I did have a land. I like to uh, organize as I go. All right. Oh, oh. I want to move that. Don't want to move that. I want just just want the packs. Just want the packs. Here we go. Let's put them off to the side. Let's get moving. Here we go. Look at that crazy girl. Little guy inside. Little guy inside. All right. Digging into Strixhaven. Pre-release packs. And I do have Strixhaven boxes coming, so no worries there. Let me just make sure the order of these. Okay, cool. I think Magic, thank you for being consistent with your card orders. Get crazy on this. Or hold campus. There's our land. Are they all stamped like this? Maybe just for the pre-release packs? I don't care. I'm loving it. Loving it. And it's Battlefield Tap. Okay. There's our land. Okay, Owl and Shield Mage. You can't. All right. Get in, get in those doubles. Excavated wall. Bring main Servin. Servin? Servin, Curvin? You decide. Gain two life anyway. Specter of the Fens. Cool. That is so cool. Target opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Oh! 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 Ageless Guardian. Resculpt. Exile artifact or creature. Color creates a 4 4 blue and red elemental. All right, a little give take there. Pigment Storm is raining paint. Deals 5 damage to target creature. Excess damage is dealt to the creature's controller instead. Ooh, that's nice. That's cool. Fractal Summoning. Lesson card. Create 0 0 green and blue fractal creature token. Put X plus 1 plus 1. Wondrix Cultivator. Enters the uh, turtle druid. Oh my god. Get out of here with that. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for basic forest or island card. Put in battlefield, then shuffle. Nice. Death for boots. Leaping. Flying. Emergent sorcery. Put, search your library for basic land card. Put on battlefield, tap, then shuffle. That land becomes zero, zero green and blue. Fractal creature. That's still land. Put. Plus one, plus one counter on it for each land you had entered the battlefield under control this turn. Hmm. So you gotta <clears throat> pair this up with some uh, other cards that can get you more. I'm sure someone will figure it out. Not me, I'm not smart enough. And our rare sparring regiment. Got a little ink versus fire there. Enchantment card when sparring regiment enters the battlefield, learn. Whenever you attack, put a plus one, plus one counter. On target attacking creature and untap it. What do we got? Got duress. Oh, so cool looking. I love it. Sorcery. Target opponent reveals their hand. Choose a non creature, non land card from it. That player discards that card. What we have here for holographic first day a class. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control this turn, plus one, plus one counter on it, and gains end of turn. Very cool. I hope uh, all these packs have these alt art, full art, whatever you want to call them, type of cards. Seeing them getting drawn in my in my arena decks, they just look they look great. I love I love how this all looks. Shout out to all the artists who f who figure all that out. Sorry for drinking so much. Parched. All right, here we go. Next one. Little elephant dude. Look at this guy. Ooh, magic secret lair. Oh, it's just your, just your token. I want to give anybody free codes again. Sorry, I like to play the game. Letter of acceptance. Add one man of any color. Sacrifice it. Draw a card. Here's Mari Pledge Mage. <laughs> Pledge. <laughs> Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, Prismari Pledge Mage 
can't, can attack this turn as though it didn't have defender. Oh, okay, so that's how you get it out of that. Elemental masterpiece. So graceful. Sorcery, create two 4-4 four, four blue and red elemental creature tokens. And then discard elemental masterpiece. Create a treasure, a treasure token. Pretty awesome. Fuming Effigy. Oh. -ho. Whenever one or more cards leave your graveyard, Fuming Effigy deals one damage. Alright, Spring Main. Serving Curvin. I don't know which it is. Leech Fanatic. Gross. Or Warlock. As long as you turn, Leech Fanatic has lifelink. Pilgrim of the Ages. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for basic planes card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and six, return Pilgrim of Ages from your graveyard to your hand. Pop quiz. Draw a card and learn. It doesn't happen. The pop quiz. Sudden breakthrough. What are we doing there? A little, little sorcery, little, little enchantments. Our creature gets plus two and gains first strike until end of the turn. Create a treasure token. Elemental summoning. Yeah, that's what I want. A red and blue lion. Create four, four blue and red elemental creature token. It's literally what it does. Wither bloom apprentice. Druid. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, each opponent one life. Life. Good, good stuff soon. Igneous Inspiration. Deals three damage to any target and learn. I feel like people are going to create some crazy decks with this learn ability. Deadly Brew. Each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. If you sacrifice a permanent this way, you may return another permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. A little one for one. Gotta like it. Oh boy, Rowan, Scholar of Sparks. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less. Rowan, Scholar of Sparks, deal one damage to each opponent. If you've drawn three or more cards this turn, she deals three damage. Get an emblem. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may pay two. You do, you do copy that spell. Choose new target for that copy. Huh? Combos are going to get crazy for this. And on the other side is... Will, Scholar of Frost. Same thing, one less to cast. Up to one target creature has base power and toughness 0 2 until your next. Draw two cards, exile up to five target permanents. Each permanent exile this way is controlled against a 4 4 blue and red elemental creature token. A lot of give take there. Awesome. Sweet mythic rare pull there for the Planeswalker. And what's our alt R card here? Snake. In Veil. I love the way this looks. Oh, that's awesome. The snakes. It looks holographic, but it's not. It's just so cool how they did the highlighted colors there. But plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control against hexproof until end of turn. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. I love it. Love the route they're going with, the, with this card art. Keep it up. I want more. Need more. All right, yeah, yeah, play arena. All right, Wither Bloom Pledge Mage. Oh, that's a much different type of blood researcher. Watch out for her, guys. Oh, has menace. When we gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter in Blood Researcher. Like that. Witherbloom Campus. Age Duel. Hushing Disappointment. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. It's like, I am so disappointed. <laughs> Each player loses two life. You draw two cards. Oh, that's great. Ageless Guardian. Resculpt. Heated Debate. Getting into it. Fireballs. Well, can't be countered. Heated Debate deals four damage to target creature or planeswalker. 
Thanks for your mono red there. Test summoning. That thing up there. That. Oh, because it's, oh, it's a. Create two 1 1 black and green pest creature tokens with when this creature dies, you gain one life. Great little, little cannon fodder for that. Oh, monitor. <laughs> this nerd. Ace. Target creature can't block this turn. Wondrous Cultivator again, my boy. The Turtle Druid. Love him. Wormhole Serpent. <laughs> Imagine open a wormhole. He's like, oh, geez, close it, close it, close it. Dark creature can't be blocked this turn. Dream Strix. Feature bird illusion. They're illusions, Michael. They're illusions. Flying when Dream Strix becomes the target of a spell sacrifice. Dream Strix dies. You Owl. Super cool. We got here Defiant Strike. Oh yeah, that's defiant as hell. That's straight off straight off ancient Greek pottery right there. Turkey gets plus one zero until end of turn. Draw a card. Awesome. And what we got here? Ooh boy. Oh, holographic rare. That's what I'm talking about. The gnarled professor. How old is this guy? He's tree folk drew a trample. 5-4, four, 4 drop. When Narl Professor enters the battlefield, you learn. Oh, oh, what a beast of a card. Oh, what an awesome card. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, classes in session for sure. Holy, holy cow. That's what I'm talking about there. Those are the kind of pulls we need. Yeah, more set drafts. I will. I will. Prismari Art Club. I'll join. Oh, nobody saw that. 4 4 Elemental. Hey, there, there they are. Excavated Wall. Rise of Extus. Exile target creature. Exile up to one target instant sorcery card from a graveyard and turn. I really got. I got to learn how this learn ability works. Um, but yeah, like just the best way to build the decks based off of that. I I feel like I've seen a few videos where, you know, well, it could be clickbait titles just saying the learn spell, you know, the learn ability is broken and stuff. But I think I think people are just learning, you know, figure out how to use it, use it to their advantage as with all things in uh, Magic the Gathering. All right. Exhilarating elocution. Yeah, we saw that already. Crushing disappointment. Poor guy. Beaming Defiance. Target creature control gets plus two, plus two, and gets hexproof on the turn. Nice. Good enchantment there. Vortex. Or was it enchantment? No, instant. My bad. Vortex Runner. Going through it. As long as you control eight or more lands, Vortex Runner gets plus one and can't be blocked. Nice. I like that. Heated Debate. All right. Spring Main. Serving Curvin. Environmental Sciences. There's a lesson right there. Search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Then shuffle. Gain two life. See nothing but positives here. The win win. Go blank. Oh, this guy forgot everything. Even his head. Target player ex discards two cards and exile all cards from that player's graveyard. Ooh. Ooh, that's rough. Mascot interception. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature. Plus two zero. Okay. Classic uh, red control right there. Fracture. Oh, beautiful, beautiful artwork there. Beautiful artwork there. Really target artifact enchantment or planeswalker. Oh, that's awesome for a two drop. Oh, awesome. And what do we got here? Poets Quill. Beautiful. Artifact equipment. When Poets Quill enters the battlefield, learn. So creature gets plus one, plus one. It has lifelink. Look for the same amount there. We saw before we have a holographic here. Let's see what it is after our cool art card here. Painted Pact. Oh, super cool. Oh, outline. Apes. It's mythic rare. I love it even more. Instant. Exile the top card of your library. You may put that card into your hand unless it has the same name as another card. Exile this way. Repeat this process until you put a card into your hand or you exile two cards with the same name first. That hurts my brain. <laughs> we got to think about that one. Regardless, 
awesome artwork. It reminds me, uh, reminds me of uh, Zelda Twilight Princess when you go to the Twilight World. That's like that's how it looked. Oh, it's so cool. And what do we got for the holographic here? Enthusiastic study. She is so excited to be carrying that big book. Dark creature gets plus three plus one and gains trampled on the turn and you turn. Wow, that's just a basic. You got a lot of good things out of that for just a basic card. Our last one. Let's get something good. Test token. Cut down. Cram session. Get it all in there. We've all been in. We've all been in college. Just get it all in there. Gain four life and learn. <laughs> I wish that's the way it worked. Help me out a lot if that's the way it worked. Elemental masterpiece is beautiful. Poetry, right? Exhilarating elocution. All right. Spined carrick. Straight up crocodile. Florida man's card right there. Promising dusk mage. Dies if it had a plus one plus one counter on it. Draw a card. Two three. Expel. Ooh. Get out the poor elephant, dude. Oh, that's mean. Exile target tapped creature. <laughs> Barag Befuddler. The frog wizard. Oh, look at this crazy guy. Oh, you flash him. Great. When Barag Befuddler enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls gets minus one. Pillar drop ward. Oh, gee. Sacrifice and return target instant or closer card from your graveyard to your hand. Activate only as a sorcery. Good defender. Right there. But he's the warden. Charge through. Gains trampled and the turn and draw a card. Expanded anatomy. On here. Are they gonna, gonna di dissect that thing? Not alive. The two plus one plus one counters on target creature it gains vigilance until end of turn. Fortifying draw. Might as well be Professor Snape, right? Gain two life. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. Oh, cool. Stacking on the life gain there. Spell satchel. Everybody's got to have one. Whenever you cast or copy an instant sorcery spell, put a book counter on spell satchel. Tap it. Remove a book counter from spell satchel. Add uh, non color land. And then remove three book counters from spell satchel. Draw a card. Get that thing going. The golden ratio. Oh, super cool. I love the concept of this card. What does it do? Sorcery. Draw a card for each different power on creatures you control. Oh. Oh, so you have one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to whatever. You can, you just draw that card. That's I, this is this is a cool card. Just, just the artwork and the idea behind it, just how, you know, the golden ratio, the Fibonacci sequence and all that. It's just using all the, cre you know, got different creatures in there. All the oh, cool. This is just cool. I, I, I really like how they did it. Who's the artist on that? Kudos to Alex Brandwin. Good for you, man. Good idea there. Got here. The Every Flame Painter. Rare card. Oh, look at her dancing away. Double strike, 1 4. Whenever every flame painter deals combat damage to a player, may cast target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. That spell will be put into your graveyard, exile it, dead. I like that a lot. Very good card right there. And what do we got here? Adventurous Impulse. Thinking that road less traveled. I guess it's pretty traveled. Sorcery. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or land card from among them. Put it into, put the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. Awesome. That's a little draw card right there. Very, very cool. Awesome stuff here. I think uh, the the MVP, MVPs of tonight. You know, well, definitely this card that we got out of the pre-release pack. A little twenty twenty one stamp on there, right? That I was going. I mean. What, what do you do when it's on the back? You can't flip it over. You have to take it out and look at it. Either way, awesome card right there. Very happy with these pulls. And uh, to surprise you with uh, Shrixhaven, a uh, pre-release pack. 
uh, is coming out uh, next week, I think. I got some boxes on the way. So uh, those are going to be some good videos there. Uh, what else do I have? I still have another Time Spiral Quickie uh, c coming up there. Uh, a Core 2021 previous pack that I've just been sitting on. I think I'm going to uh, do put that up, do two, two Quickies because it comes with uh, with six packs in there, uh, like like this pre-release. And then my... My good friend uh, sent me uh, some of his cards in this uh, mystery box. So it's going to be a card unboxing of complete mystery. I have no idea what's going to be in it. I mean, completely random order. And we're going to we're going to see what we get get out of it. Uh, some old cards goes some going all the way back to uh, Ikoria. Uh, so it may be some others I don't even know about. It, it's all a mystery. We'll find out what's in there. Uh, we'll we'll catch we'll catch you next time. So again, if you're new to the channel, uh, ch uh, checking this out for the first time, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter, and we'll if you're, if you're new, we'll get in touch, and I'll figure out how to get you your card of choice uh, from this unboxing or from previous unboxings if the card that you're looking for has not been taken already. Uh, so please uh, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, leave a comment. It helps me out with uh, you know figuring out who subscribe for others and uh, you know and uh, what and what what you're looking for uh, out of the cards I drew here. So hope you have a great day. Catch you next time for the next unboxing.